good. God bless you today and forever. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks. Amen. And I just wanted to come to you today on this thankful Thursday and give you an encouraging word. I believe the Holy Spirit put it in my heart to share this with you in this holy week. The Bible says in John 16, chapter 30, uh, John chapter 16, verse number 32, God sent his son and his son was fixing to endure the horrible punishment on that cruel rugged beam and the whipping post and give his life and pay a ransom for you and I to be saved now and in eternity. Amen. This is what he shared. He said, take new take notice and take heed mm -hmm, for the hour is coming and now is that when you all, talking to his disciples, when you all will be dispersed and scattered, every one of you to your own house, minding your own things and, 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 and leaving me all alone. That's the verse of, that's the verse I want you to hear. Leaving me all alone. And then he encouraged himself. Amen. And he said, yet I am not alone for the father is with me no matter how down you get no matter how depressed you get no matter how depraved your situation looks you are not alone you're not forgotten for the father is with you desperation mm -hmm. and loneliness can be trying and there's trials i went through a trial of depression myself and i i wrote a poem about depression and being alone on 12 6 mm -hmm, uh 2019 amen and i'm going to share this with you i want to be transparent because i want to tell you i want to show you how the grips of depression can have you thinking amen mm -hmm. it was written at 11 31 a.m it says who am i alone i'm a grain of sand in the desert of life where are you, O oh substance? Where are you? Fires without a spark burning in the midst of nothingness. Where are you going to or when are you going to light the soil? Mm -hmm. Why are you so distant? Why are you so silent? Why are you so quiet? Can't you see the cold winds are blowing? Can't you see darkness surrounding me? Aren't you stirred beyond your complacency, loneliness, being all alone? Mm. Aren't you moved to lift up your voice? Where are you, great purpose? Why aren't you searching? Why aren't you calling to the children? The lambs are crying. Their song is dancing desperately in vain. Pain drives a reckless car. The wheels screech, the engine hums, the melody floods, the tears in my eyes. Only captured by its cruel intentions, as the mind fills with empty desires, the band marches on, and the crowd slowly turns their back. Mm. Who are you alone? A grain in the desert of life. Well... I don't have to share with you the the, 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 the 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 emotions that I was feeling at that time. And it was one of the darkest moments in my life. Amen. It was in a struggle that I had to bear up on my own. Hallelujah. You can be in a group of a million people and be just as lonely as if you were on the Isle of Patmos with both of your eyes gouged out and you bored with oil three times, yet you did not burn, burn up because you had faith in the God, amen, that is with you even when you're alone. Jesus encouraged himself, hallelujah, and we thank God for his son right now. Mm -hmm. We thank God for his sacrifice right now amen and we thank for him thankful to him for him drawing close amen in those times mm -hmm, when it seems like there's absolutely no help for you or no help for me and it was in that time where I remembered the word of God and I went to the word amen and the word of God Mm -hmm. stirred me. It filled me. It built me up. I got to tell you the truth. Amen. Mm -hmm. Nobody understood. Mm -hmm. 
the trouble that I've seen. Amen. But the Bible says that Jesus was in more trouble than any man could ever experience. Yet he encouraged him himself. And he said, I am not alone. No matter who leaves you, no matter who doubts you, no matter who lies on you, no matter who uh, tries to oppress you and marginalize you and, 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 and destroy you. Come on, somebody. Turn their back on you. He says, the Father is with me and the Father is with you today. Amen. And I want to encourage you in the Lord. Jesus goes on to say, I have told you these things. He's speaking to me and he's speaking to you no matter how down you are, no matter how absolutely helpless and hopeless and, 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 and insurmountable the odds. Hallelujah. If God is with you, he's more than the world against you. And he gave you these words in verse number 33 of the 16th chapter of John. I've told you these, 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 these things, these things right here, mm -hmm. that you might have perfect peace. I speak peace to you today. I speak confidence in Jesus today. You can be confident in Jesus today. Mm -hmm. And he will give you perfect peace because he promises that in this world, you in this world, you will mm -hmm, without a doubt, without reservation, without any question you will have tribulation you'll have trials you'll have temptations you'll have distresses and you will have frustration but above all those things despite all those things hallelujah regardless of all those things he said you can be mm -hmm, of good cheer and take courage in Jesus. He says, take courage in me, be confident in me, be certain in me, be undaunted because of me, for I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. He says, I have deprived the thing that's trying to deprive you of its power. It has no power to harm you. It has no power to overcome you. It has no power power come on somebody mm -hmm. to conquer you mm. because Jesus has overcome the world wherever you are whatever you're doing stop today and pour out all that emptiness pour out the hallelujah I had to cry until I couldn't cry anymore I had to call out to Jesus until I couldn't call anymore and he answered me and he came all the way down and from somewhere in, 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 in heaven, from the annals of who he is, he poured out into me courage to endure. Hallelujah. Praise God. Confidence, not in me. I was desperate. I had no hope, but confidence in him and hope sprung out of what he has done and what he did and what he will always do in our life when we do that. And I began uh -huh, to know in my knower, in my spirit, that I was coming out of this dark place. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And I want to prophesy that over you. When you call in this season, this holy week, this week through Sunday, that no matter how dark it is, no matter how depressing it is, no matter how insurmountable it is, when you call, God will give you his, hallelujah, his Holy Spirit to fill you. Mm -hmm to drown out that depression mm -hmm. and to build you up encouraged by who Jesus is through the Holy Spirit speaking to you, encouraging you, showing you, leading you and guiding to you, guiding you and speaking to you those things that will build you up and break you out of every dark place in the name of Jesus as you call this week. I believe it in the name of Jesus that God will answer you, hallelujah, and he will show you great and mighty things, things you have no idea to imagine. That was, mm, that was almost four years ago, hallelujah, hallelujah. And God drove me out of that dark place into his marvelous light. Mm -hmm. And just like he was not alone, Jesus said, I'm not alone, the Father's with me. You are not alone. Jesus is with you.
And because he is with you, mm -hmm. he has overcome the world and he will give you good cheer, courage, confidence, and certainty. And you can walk undaunted knowing that the undefeated Jesus is with you mm -hmm. and he's working for you. You can trust him with everything you got. In Jesus' name, I pray it blesses you. In Jesus' name, I thank you, God. Thank you, God, for what you have done and who Jesus is really in this world. And I praise you and I worship you and I pray you get all the glory from everything that was said and heard today and that you would visit your people and strengthen and encourage them and deprave darkness of its evil desires and let your people walk undaunted into your promise, glorifying you, hallelujah. Because of who you are, we give the, you give you, we give you glory. And because of who you are, we give you praise. Because of who you are, we will lift our voice and say, we worship you, Jesus, for who you are. We bless you for being such a blessing to us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Love you guys today and forever. Oh, how I love you, Jesus. And we need you. And we thank you for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name, bye-bye. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye.